Hello and welcome back to the next mathematical symbol, which is today this partial d. I just call it partial d, but there are a lot of other names for this cursive d. However, it's important to see that it is not a lowercase delta. Of course, it's related because it should look like a rounded version of a lowercase d. Indeed, some people just call this symbol del, but this can be confused with the Nabla operator. Therefore, if you pronounce this letter here, you can simply say D. And now you might already know, we mostly use this symbol when we talk about partial derivatives. So for example, if we have a function from R2 to R, we can form the derivative with respect to the first variable here. And this is then the partial derivative denoted with the curve D. So we have DF over DX1. And then we simply say, this is the partial derivative of F, with respect to x1. And there you see, we use this curve d to distinguish the partial derivative from a normal derivative in one variable. However, our partial d here is also used in other contexts. So for example, in topology we talk about open and closed sets. And then it turns out that for each subset in a given space we can define the so-called boundary of the set. In this picture here, we would visualize it as the shell of the given set A. And then we denote this boundary by partial d A. So you see, this is a completely different usage of this curve d than we have it for the partial derivatives. Now, if you know other cases where the partial d is used, you can tell me in the comments. Otherwise, I would say, let's meet in the next video about mathematical symbols.